Hi Zoe family, with our Stewardship Sunday fast approaching on May 5th, we want to provide some helpful information as you continue to pray and consider what God is leading you to give toward our Stewardship Project. If you haven't already, please pick up a pledge card or print one out from our website. We're going to be collecting those from the whole church on May 5th in our service. On the pledge card, you'll be able to designate your first fruits offering on the first line. This is the dollar amount that you plan to give in person or online on May 5th as a one-time gift to launch our year of giving. The second line is a place for you to note the amount, if any, you may have already given and designated for the building fund prior to May 5th. This is going to help our finance team reconcile your prior giving and give you an accurate record of your total gift. The third line is maybe the most important. This is your year-long pledge of what you plan to give, not including the first fruits offering between May 5th of this year and the following May in 2025. This is your commitment to give regularly over the course of the next year. So please note that our giving spans two calendar years, 2024 and 2025, which may matter to some of your tax purposes. We encourage you to prayerfully decide how to split your giving between the one-time first fruits gift and the year-long pledge. We also want to remind you that your gift to the Stewardship Project should be over and above your regular giving to Zoe. Your regular giving is necessary and will continue to support our everyday operating budget as a church. Now, what about ways to give? If you give online, please make sure you select Building Fund from the drop-down menu every time that you give. If you give by check, please write Building Fund on the memo line so that we can put that in the appropriate place. If you give cash, we will provide envelopes for you to use. And if you write your name, we will include these cash gifts in your record of giving for your end of year statement. Now, there's one new way you can give. We now support stock donations. For that option, we have instructions on transferring stock to the church on our website at zoedallas.org. No matter your method of giving, our finance team plans to provide you with an individual pledge tracker on your Planning Center account online if you have one with us. So with May 5th approaching, please continue to pray for wisdom and how you choose to give. For some of you, the best course of action will be to give one lump sum up front or one time in each year. Others might benefit from the discipline of habitually setting aside a certain amount as you go, whether it is a flat dollar value or percentage of your income. Some of you may choose to give any bonuses, raises, tax refunds, or investment income to God this year. Others might temporarily give anything over and above your base cost of living or cut back in certain ways so that you might give more to the Lord. Now, you might not even know exactly how much your pledge can actually be, but even if you plan to give a percentage of your income or something that may change based on the future, we ask that you please provide an estimated dollar amount on the pledge line anyway. Uh, do your best to provide an accurate estimate for giving, and that will help us with our financial projections. As a final note, please know that your pledge card and all of your giving will be completely confidential and will only be viewed by our finance team, which consists of three people our deacon of finance, one lay elder, and a volunteer accountant. No Zoe staff will have access to or knowledge of anyone's individual giving. Also, the number you provide is not contractually binding in any way. Ultimately, your stewardship commitment is between you and the Lord. Thank you for your partnership with us as a part of Zoe. We as elders are excited for May 5th for our Stewardship Sunday and our anniversary as we gather to worship God with our giving. We'll also be able to watch and wait with eagerness to see what he has in store for us as his church. We love you. We love doing ministry with you all. And we hope that you remember that God loves a cheerful giver. Blessings to you.